Hey there guys, how you doing? Today, I'm working on a rather large half a million dollar robot. Problem being is this is a long ago reported issue that um, that the cord was cut and I told you guys that I'd do a follow up and I'm doing the best that I can, given obviously privacy being an issue and stuff, but let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. So, right here is the tower and you can see a cable that I already put in and the weird thing is, is it has, um, it's using standard uh, 120 volt, 15 amp IECs, which is weird um, because you can see what type of plug is supposed to be on the device. So my solution is going to be this right here. It's a 220 volt plug. You see, I still got the protector on here. Um, it is hospital rated, of course. And uh, the diameter is obviously a wee bit larger. So I'm putting in 12 gauge, and you can see I'm putting in fair rules because uh, the original cord did have crimped on little dingle my bobbers. So my fair rules come out a wee bit better than these little crimp ons. Um, but you can see that is definitely an unacceptable cord. Um, I just don't understand why they're using a 15 amp 120 volt IEC uh, when I'm cutting off. Let's see, where is it? Uh, I'll probably have one up here. So this is the end that I'm cutting off. So there is a 20 amp. Yeah, right there. There you got it. So it's a 20 amp 220 volt IEC that I'm cutting off and I'm putting on with the factory supplied which is the 15 amp 120 volt but anyway this is a rather large robot and uh, just changed out some cords I had to take the ramp off to do it and uh, then one of my components fell down in the track and I had to fish it out with uh, my wire grabber which guys there is always a reason for keeping one of these you can see it right there it's always a reason for keeping one of those in your tool bag, trust me. Anyway guys, that's what I'm doing. I'm uh, changing out some cords and these are really durable cords, hospital grade. So finding a hospital grade 220 volt plug-in is not really possible. So this is the next step to do it the right way. And um, so I, I put on their plug-in right there and also a piece of shrink tube on top of that uh, to help with water ingress and a smoother transition between a kind of rigid cord and the plug-in uh, so that that makes it uh, a little more of a strain relief but uh, it is what it is guys and uh, I'm glad that I keep shrink tube I'm glad that I have the um, the uh, ferrule kit I, I mean there's there's a reason for all this stuff guys and it's some next level stuff so um, today's job working on a robot okay guys here is the finished product female IEC to 220 volt, that's how they want it. This original cord, all I gotta do is wire it up, install the ramp, it goes over there to those receptacles on the wall. So, see, you look nice and beautiful when you're done. All right, machine is back together. See the cords, place them in an umbilical. And you can see, I've restrained them and created strain relief outside their receptacles. Go down inside the device. So the only thing that would make it better is a floor track to protect these cables and keep them from being a trip hazard. That's coming up next.